Are you for everyone or are you just taking a holiday? Oh, just for me. Just for me. It's my it's my holiday. Tomorrow I will go to Thailand, but today I'm at home. I'm cool. prepared. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Um Hi Anastasia. Hey, how are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. How was your weekend? Weekend, um, I don't remember what I did. <laughs> I have a bad memory. Girlish lots, memory. Join lots of classes? No, usually I don't uh, join classes on weekends because they are not so interesting. Oh, is that so? I didn't know. I never, well, I don't usually teach on the weekend, so. Yeah. I don't usually. usually like, no, I can't agree with that. No, okay. it depends on you, it depends on yeah. the class. It depends on the teacher. You can find something during weekend also. Well, you can find, but it's also like you know very very interesting because like, well, before I like uh, you know maybe like last year, uh, especially in autumn, I uh, can join like maybe four or five classes uh, for one day. But then I, uh, at the end of three months, I was really exhausted about, and now I'm just very selective about the classes. Like, you know, uh, I just choose the best classes uh, during the day and just join them. It's just two classes per day, no more. When did you start? A while ago, right? Yeah, uh, I'm on probably more than one year. So what? How long have I? It's like yeah, uh, here for a year. it's like uh, the year was in February. Oh, I was in France. <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, that's a while ago. No, actually, before you wasn't in France. I guess I was longer than you wow. were in Canada. <laughs> yeah, you were in Canada, and then you moved to France. Yeah, I see. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez, cool. surprise. <laughs> so your English has definitely improved a lot. Um, yeah. I think, that's, I think that's normal, I mean, because you get used to taking so many classes, then you start to be a little more selective. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hi, Ali. Hi, Samantha. Did you have a nice weekend? Uh, no, nothing special. <laughs> what did you do? Just, like, studied? Uh, I I was working uh, on uh, Saturday and uh, joined some English classes and uh, I rested. Cool. Awesome. Yes. Uh, except for working on Saturday, that's not so fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And hi, Ahmed. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm good, thanks. Where are you from? Egypt. How, how was your weekend? <clears throat> mm, it was so bad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, because um, because I, I, I actually I don't have any uh, weekends because I'm a soldier in the army uh, and um, it's my vacation. I don't have weekends. Oh, so, you're a soldier. Um, that's been in Phoenix. <laughs> oh, geez. So, yeah, my my brother is too, and he he never really gets to rest all that much. So <laughs> he would understand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. And Elena, you're sick. Not now. Now I'm perfect, but um, uh, before yesterday, I got should. A virus from my husband. He he was sick, yeah, and he was sick during I, I suppose at three days, and uh, I was okay. I practiced yoga I, on Friday, and I was so energy. But on Saturday, oh yeah, I catch it. But um, we had all the medicine, so I drank I drank a lot of, and now I'm okay. Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
Does this medicine have alcohol in it? <laughs> Maybe, like, Maybe a little. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put this up Oops. on my screen. Can everyone see that? So far. Yeah. Yes. It yes. looks kind of stretched out. Oh no, it's fine. Um. So. We're going to do what we usually do and read this article. Um, as usual, the first page is like some homework vocabulary for you. Uh, today we'll just focus on reading and I'll correct your pronunciation for you. Oh, so, hold on, I just have to change. There we go. So, how about, um, let's start in the middle. Um, or, no, we'll start with Ahmed. Ahmed, um, can you read yes. the title all the way to the end of number one for me? Okay. Uh, the Guardian Menthol just short and Patriot game to be one to the three advanced. Oh, Menthol just short and in period game to be 100% French, uh, Benjamin, Carl, uh, declared 96.9% uh, made in France at end of 10 months experiment of living without any foreign objectives, uh, Kim Welchers in Paris, 27 February. Uh, 2014. Uh, Benjamin Carl is uh, 96 point and nine percentage main right down to his uh, under parents and socks. Uh, unfortunately, uh, six Likia uh, for uh, shi Chinese. Uh, Gert, guitar, guitar, and uh, unsourced uh, wall point stopped uh, him being declared a um, uh, 100 percentage economic uh, patriot, but uh, nobody is perfect. Very good. Okay. Stop you there. Uh, also, just to note, can everyone please stay muted while other people are reading? because I hear some like background noise. Okay. Um, got some words for you. I'm going to use the Google chat because the Verbling chat um, doesn't seem to be taking my messages right now. So do you see the words I typed for you, Ahmed? What? Kamal, can you please stay muted because you have some background noise. There's like cars and birds and stuff. Very distracting things. Um, Ahmed, I put some I typed some words in the Google chat. Do you see them? Yes. Okay. Can you read the first thing? I know it's not a word. <laughs> uh, percentage? Yeah, well it's actually when it's with a number you just say percent. 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 Like yes. 90%, 95%. Okay. Um, if it's in a sentence like the percentage of people who spoke English, da da da, then it's percentage. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Next one. Uh, experiment. 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 Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> my cat is going crazy today. <laughs> um, <laughs> experiment. Yeah, instead of spare, it's spare. experiment. Um, the next one? Um, foreign. Yeah, that was fine. Foreign. Good. Yes. Okay, and the next one? Socks. Yeah, it's actually pronounced socks. So it's like this ah oh. sound for the O. Yeah. Okay. And. Chinese. 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 Good. When you read it, you said shine. <laughs> so that was perfect. Chinese. And one more. 
unsourced. So it should be pronounced unsourced. Unsourced. Um, there's some rules for ed endings and also some rules for s endings. Um, yes. That you might want to take a look at because sometimes when you have a word that ends in s, you're not pronouncing it quite correctly. Um, and same with an ed. So instead of unsourced, it should be unsourced. Um, instead of forks, it's forks. So let me just send you a link here to help you. Um, here's the ed endings. Yeah. And then you find one for s endings. So. Okay, here's one for S endings. Okay, so those are some things that you can work on improving your, your endings of your words when you're pronouncing them. Okay? Cool. Uh, okay, Ali, you're next. And Anastasia, what does March have to do with crazy cats? I don't know. Does anyone know? <laughs> because it, because it's spring. Uh. Cats are spring. Very spring. yeah, very romantic <laughs> per periods for for cats. <laughs> because my cat is like losing it today. He's running up and down the walls. Like he just jumped on my lap and then hit, jumped off the wall and ran away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's freaking out. So I guess it's because it's March, maybe. Um, okay, Ali, are you ready? Yes. Okay, numbers two and three. Yeah. Uh, Carl, uh, 26, set out in 2013 to see if it was possible to live using only French made products for 10 months as part of a television documentary. The idea was tri triggered by the Minister for Economic Renewal Arnaud Montebourg's call for the public to buy French to save the country's industrial production sector. Okay, some words there for you. Can you read the first one? Products. That was perfect. Do you know what the problem was? Uh, it was the R. <laughs> <laughs> but that time was really good. So uh, it's the same problem as always where if you have the word on its own, then it's fine. But when you're reading, you're doing pra <laughs> product. Um, so keep, keep smoothing it out. That was much better when you read it. Um, Sam, I have a question. Can you sure. pronounce like, products? Products. Products. Yeah. Like, like British variant is products. Products. Yeah, yeah. American variant is products. Okay, yeah. I want to. I think sure. the British one is pro. Yeah, pro. Pro. pro products. Products. <laughs> yeah, something like that. American so products. Um, but yeah, it's products. Yeah. And the other yeah. thing about products. this word is that the T is not really pronounced, right? Sounds like products. That's how it sounds when I pronounce. Yes. <laughs> um, products. Yeah, I know that's strange. It's an accent thing. <laughs> um, okay, Ali, how about the next one? Documentary. Good. Uh, when you have "airy" at the end, it's usually just pronounced "re," and this is the uh, same case. So instead of "documentary," you would say "documentary." Documentary. Documentary. Good. So go right from the T to the R. Document, documentary, like this, the word tree at the end. Documentary. Yeah, perfect. Very good. Um, and that goes for most words that end in A-R-Y. Not always, but... Um, okay, how about the next one? Minister. 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 And next one? Industrial. Industrial, not do. 
It's an uh sound in the middle. Industrial. Industrial. Good. And the next one? Um, sector. 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 Good. So this OR at the end is pronounced like an ER. Sector. Okay. Sector. Good. So still the main thing is your R's, and then there's a few little vowel things here and there, but on the whole it's getting better, and your flow is still improving, so just keep practicing. It's very good. Okay. Um, okay. Anastasia? Yes. How about four and five? Yeah, and you. Uh, okay, the experiment cost Carly his smartphone, television, refrigerator, all made in China, as always. Uh, his spectacle is Italian, his underpads, Moroccan, Moroccan, morning coffee, uh, Guatemalan, and his adored David Browie music bridge. Fortunately, his long suffering girlfriend, Anais, and cat. Loon boss French stuck with him. Good. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Television. Okay, that was perfect. <laughs> you did like mm -hmm. V when you were reading. Television. Um, mm -hmm. that's better. Um, yeah. And then this is pronounced Moroccan. 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 Like. In, uh, this is just with my accent. I know in Morocco that's probably not how I would say it. Um, uh, but I would say Moroccan. 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 Yeah. Moroccan. Uh, Bowie. David Bowie. Uh, David Bowie. Yes. I wouldn't usually correct a name. It's just because he's famous. So you yeah. might see it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And stuck. Good. So there's something still about you, this U sound that is, like for you, it's somewhere in between like an A ah and A. Ah. You're going like stuck. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it has to be more of an A uh sound. Stu, stuck. Stuck. Yeah, that was much better. And okay. it was the same sound with underpants. Underpants. Yeah. So it's the same U like at the beginning of here. Um, mm -hmm. that you want to make when it's in the middle of a word, like stuck. Okay, gotcha. Do it again, stuck. Stuck. Okay, that was better. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how else to explain it, except that the vowel just sounds like a little bit off. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I've okay. got that, yeah. Very good. Uh-huh, um, thanks. Okay, and let's see. We might have time to go through this. Everyone go twice, actually, because it's only 20 after. Um, okay, Elena. Yes. Uh, six and seven. Okay. Uh, politi politicians say all sorts of things and expect us to go along with it. I wanted to see if it was possible and feasible to do what the minister was asking us to do, to hold him to account for his words. Carl told uh, the guardians over a non-French coffee in a Parisian, Parisian cafe after finishing his documentary. He said just three rules, eat only foods produced in France, eliminate contact with foreign made goods and uh, do so on... on well, for, um, 1,000, 1,800 a month, 1,800 euro a month above the minimum rate, or no, I suppose that not 1,000, just only 1 euro, yeah? No, uh, you're right, 1,800 Ah, 1,000, okay, uh, 1,430 euro to cover the extra expense of living in Paris. Good. Um, a note about numbers, um, in a lot of other countries they'll use a comma like to show a, what we would use a period for, like for example 180 would never look like this. We never use commas. You don't need Anastasia? No. No, um, no, no um, I know in a lot of places they use commas, um, but if, the, if it's any more than like three or four digits like this. If there's any more than two digits after the punctuation, then in English it's 
it's never um, functioning as a period. So you would never see one comma ninety five. That would that just doesn't happen in American or in Canada or the UK. <laughs> it's always a period. Um, so if you see a comma, you know it's a thousand at least or more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Some words. Uh huh. Politicians. Politicians. Watch your Politicians. eyes. Politicians. Mm -hmm. uh, guardian. Okay, that was better. Guardian. Guardian. Good. The important thing to remember is like, don't try to pronounce the U. Excuse mm -hmm. me, right? It's not guar guardian. It's okay. Yeah. Guardian. Mm -hmm. Coffee. That was better. So remember, um, we I hear a lot of like coffee, coffee. But it should be coffee. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three. Good. Now, can you try that one more time? Three. Okay. So your th is okay, but when you get to the r, you're rolling your tongue a little bit, going th th. Like. Mm -hmm. Um. So you have to try to flatten that out. Th three. 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 Sorry. Um. This is really tricky. This is a really tricky sound, actually, going from TH to R. Um, can you read just the word read? Read. Okay, that's fine. Um, how about there? There. Okay, try three again. Three. You're still rolling it, but I know the problem is that you're trying to go from the TH mm -hmm. to the R very quickly. And your tongue is tapping. I can't do it. <laughs> um, but you want to try to keep your tongue down. Th three. Don't three. don't let it touch up here. Three. Again? Three. Good. That was better. Okay. So you want the same R sound like when you read the word read, but three. it should come right after the TH. Three. 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 Yes, that was perfect. Very good. So that THR, it's really tricky. <laughs> Take some time. <laughs> okay, but that was much yeah. better. Yeah. Um, okay. Produced. 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 Yeah, produced. Yeah, it was just the ED. You, you had it produced, but it should be just produced. Illuminate. Good. I tried to emphasize the LI. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Eliminate. Eliminate. You emphasize Eliminate. the second syllable. Eliminate. Good. Mm -hmm. Month. And it's month. It's a month sound there. Month. Month. Good. Much better. And I think that's it. So for you, it's almost entirely vowel sounds still, um, except for that THR sound that you can work on. Um, okay. And most okay. of them are words that mm, are exceptions, <laughs> like guardian, month. Um, but politicians, that's those I sounds. So you still have to work on, make sure that your I never sounds like E, or very rarely sounds like E. Mm -hmm. um, okay, good job. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, and hi, Nisa. Hi teacher, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Where are you from? Actually, uh, this is my second time with you, but probably you forget me. Okay. <laughs> I'm from Indonesia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're from Egypt? Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh, I remember you. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <All right. laughs> I'm really bad at <laughs> okay. names and everything, so. Um, that's cool. Nice to see you. Thank you. So, okay. Let's do um, eight, nine, and ten. Nine is only one sentence. I don't know why. <laughs> so, okay. That whole block, okay? Okay. The journalist was shocked to find out the at the start of the experiment that uh, only 4.5% of the con contents of his flat were made nationally and that the rest 
would have to go, including the light bulbs, China, and green beans, Kenya. The removal man left his home almost bare, left without for every job. None are made in French or nail clippers. He was forged, forced to chill his foot on the window ledge and saw at his two nails with a pang knife. <laughs> Sorry. Ew, that sounds really. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Here's a few words for you. Can you read the first one? Okay. Sorry, I can't see uh, what it, you write it. In the. Okay. Okay. Oops. Hold on. That's the wrong. Those are Elena's words. <laughs> okay. In a chat box. Yeah. Do okay. you see them? I just put them again. Yeah. Experiment. 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 Good. Okay. okay. Rest. Uh, don't forget to pronounce your T at the end. Rest. Rest. Good. Okay. Uh, this one is so tricky for me. <laughs> Refrigerator? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's very close. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Good. Uh, the T, it sounds like a D. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Um, and the second thing is that the emphasis is on syllable two. So refrigerator. Refrigerator. Perfect. Very good. Okay. okay. And then clippers or yeah. clippers? <laughs> I'm not yeah, sure. Close, almost. It's it. Eh, clip. <laughs> clippers. Clippers. There you go. Much better. So it's just your eye sound. It should be the short I. Clip. Clippers. Okay. Papers. And the next one? The next one. Shaw. Saw. Saw. Good. And um, the point here was that it should be an ah sound. Uh -huh. um, and you pretty much ignore the W. It shouldn't be saw. Just uh, saw. Saw. Yeah. Saw. 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 Two nails? <laughs> Toenails. Okay. Toenails. Do you know what your toenails are? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yes. like your fingernails, but on your toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, okay, very good. So just a few little things. Um, overall, your pronunciation is really good, actually, Nisa. Wow, thank you. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think about this? <laughs> this is so weird. Um, all of his stuff was made, uh, only like 4.5 of the things in his house were made nationally. Everything else was made in a different country. Is that surprising? Yes. Yes, it, it was a uh, surprise. Because <laughs> it, it's like his country doesn't uh, produce things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder if I were to go walk around my house and find out where everything was made. I bet... Only about five or ten percent of it was made in Canada. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much imported stuff here. Like, let's see, my, my lamp was made in China. My desk mm. is from Ikea, so maybe Sweden. <laughs> I think here in my country about 90% um, of uh, productions are made in China. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. And then no refrigerator or nail clippers. <laughs> so he put his food on a window ledge and then he cut his toenails with a knife. Oh my gosh. Um, so he was trying to only keep things in the house that were from France, right? Okay. Next part. Um, is it Root? Hi. Hi, how do you pronounce your name? <laughs> Root. Oh dear. I can't roll my R's. <laughs> Root. <laughs> Root. <laughs> Where With are you from? Uh, uh, Spain. Canary Islands. <laughs> what part of Spain? Canary Islands. You oh, know? that's so nice. <laughs> yes, really nice. How's the, the weather? Nice? 
What? How is the weather? The weather is good now. Really yeah. good. I'm very jealous. I would love to be there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can you read numbers 11 and 12 for me, please? Okay. His foreign made clothes down to his underwear were replaced with more expensive alternatives. French produced underpants, 25 euro socks, 9 euro polo shirt, 75 euro spiral sandals, 20, 20, 26 euro but not jeans as none are produced in France. During the experiment, car scored supermarket shelves for 100% French made products, land to cook seasonal fruit and vegetable grown in France. Prudel brushed his teeth with the last toothbrush made in France by a company in Picardy employing 29 people and hand washes his smalls until he found the last French made washing machine, which being top opening would not fit under the kitchen counter. Good. Okay, I put some words in the chat box for you. Do you see them? What? I put some words in the chat box for you to pronounce. Do you see them? I'll put them in the other one too. I don't know. And here? In the chat? Produce? Yeah. Um, good. The first one is Pro produced. Pro produced. Yeah. So this is the same problem with ED endings. Um, I'll just paste the link again. Um, where your ending should not sound like id. It should sound like a T here, produced. Um, produced. And there are some rules that you can follow. So I sent the link there that has the rules. Um, okay. Produced. Okay, how about the next produced. one? Good. During? During. Oh, is that your During. phone? During. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, During. During. Good. Think of it During. like there's a J in the word. During. 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 Good. That was much better. Okay. How about the next one? You might not know this word actually. Scarred. Scoured. Scoured. Does anyone know what that means? No. I don't know. Scoured. Anyone? Or if you, if you look at the sentence, can you guess? He checks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it means like checked, looked really, really hard for something. Mm -hmm. He scoured the supermarket shelves. So scoured is like to, to hunt or to look very hard for something. To dig through the shelves. Okay. Um, okay. And how about the next word? Vegetables. 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 Good. So with this one, there's an e in the middle of the word, but you don't pronounce it. So it should be veg. Vegetables. Vegetables. Yeah. Exactly. Vegetables. Vegetables. It's the same idea with the word chocolate. It looks like chocolate, chocolate. but it's chocolate. Chocolate. Choc lit. Choc <laughs> chocolate. Yeah, exactly. It's the same idea where that one letter is silent. Um, okay, how about the next word? Proudly. 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 Good, perfect. It's the same, the same ow sound in scour proudly. Okay. And L Y is pronounced like that. Um okay, and the next one? Brushes. 
good brushed. Brushed. Yeah. Uh, that goes with those ed endings again, so you can look at the rules there. Uh, okay. And one more. It has the same ow sound in the middle. This last word. Brushing. Yeah. And there's one more after brushed. Brushed. Counter. Good. And now use the ow sound. Cow. Counter. Counter. Very good. So okay. a lot of the time that OU sounds like ow. Ow. Counter. Counter. Proud. Scour. Proud. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thanks. So for you, it's mostly those vowels, like that OU sound, um, and then your ED endings. So you can use that link that I gave you. I'll put that link in the verbling chat, too, for anyone who's watching. I give it out a lot, that link. <laughs> I'll have to have another class on ED endings to go through them. Um, okay. And Ken. Hi, Ken. Yes, hello. I saw you come and go a few times. Is your connection okay? Okay, yes. How are you? Fine, fine. <laughs> Did you have a nice weekend? Uh yeah, it it was nice uh weather here and cloud uh you know sunny and and it it was a consecutive holiday uh, weekend so a holiday weekend so Oh, you got a holiday. Yeah, kind of how can I say in English kind of consecutive? Thing, going, yes. Yeah, consecutive. Friday was the uh, oh, last Friday was the week, week yeah. Yeah, that day. So that's that, yeah, that was a, a national holiday. It's a long weekend. Mm -hmm. um, so. Like when your weekend starts on Friday? Call it a yes, long weekend. Yes, because Friday was a national holiday. So. Long weekend. For the equinox day. Equinox. You know, the equinox day, yeah. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so how about numbers 13 and 14? Number 30, okay. Uh, going out with friends was uh, problematic. Uh, no American films, no Belgian beer, no sushi or pizza. Staying home with no sofa for the first few months and no television. Mentioning to corner, Michael Sardo and reading French novels. French wine was, of course, allowed. Uh, allowed uh, and French Canadian singer Céline Dion but not, according to his advisors, French bands such as Daft Punk, who uh, sing in English. And unable to use his British-made bicycle or even a French car uh, after discovering the only affordable uh, Pugat, uh, Renault, Renault and Citroën, uh, Stroen, oh, I don't know, Mod models are mostly made Overseas, he invested in a fog emitting orange a mobile let mo moped. Good. These are all French names, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I know how to pronounce the last two, but not the first one. Pu. Does anyone here speak French? Pujo. 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 Yeah, that sounds right. Um, hey, Renault. Yeah. Renault is Citroen. Okay, so here's some words for you. Do you see them in the Google chat? Oh, yes, I see it. I see them. The first one? Uh, problematic. 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 Pro ah, problematic. Good. Problematic. And then the T sounds like a D. Dick. Problematic. Problematic. A uh, problematic. Problematic. Don't forget to get your L out. Problematic. Problematic. Yes, perfect. Problematic. One, one more time. Problematic. Problematic. Great. Much better. Okay. Uh, how about the next one? Crooner. Okay. So does anyone know what this means? Do you know the word crooner, Ken? No. George Clooney. 
What's a crooner? Oh. Okay, a crooner, it's a male singer who sings, like, very romantic songs in a low voice, mm -hmm. <laughs> like um, Sinatra. He's a crooner. So male singer who sings love songs oh. in a low, sensual voice. <laughs> <laughs> the crooner. Some people, you could say, like in some songs, Michael Bublé is kind of like a crooner, a modern day crooner. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay, how about the next word? Uh, allowed. 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 Yes, good. Allowed. And next one? The punk. 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 Yeah, it's an uh sound. Punk. 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 Good. Much better. And the next one? Unable. 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 It's just your A sound. Make it a, a long A, a hard A sound. Un -a, unable. Unable. Good. And this one's actually pronounced moped. A uh, moped. Does anyone know what that is? A moped? No. <laughs> it's like a little motorbike, a little motorcycle. Um, here, I'll show you. Um, yeah, we have the same, the same word in Russian. It's like a little motorcycle. Yeah, they're, they're almost like a little, no, not really a scooter, but just like a little motorcycle. I would like to have a moment. <laughs> oh, no, look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too little for him. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I think that's it. Um, so very good, Ken. Uh, a few vowels, and then it's kind of about um, word emphasis now, like which syllables to emphasize. Um, okay. mm -hmm. So let me find you a link. Hold on. There are some rules about word stress. I might have given you this before, I don't know. Um, so these are some of the sort of basic rules. Like it depends on how many syllables the word has and then what sound it ends in. Mm -hmm. um, this, there are, there's always exceptions, if you remember that. <laughs> but mm -hmm. as a general rule, this is a pretty good thing to go by if you're not sure, especially once you get up into words that are like four and five syllables long. Um, and it's impossible to determine, <laughs> so that can be useful. Um, okay, great. Okay. So mm -hmm. let's see. Uh, we've still got some left here, so maybe we'll take turns um, going through like one little paragraph at a time. Uh, Ahmed, do you want to read 15? Yeah, sure. Um... The last thing is um, the last thing is to go where the computer is uh, RC tables uh, that uh, connects slowly uh, to the internet and uh, the iPhone swept uh, for on an old Sage mobile. Good. Okay. Okay, do you see the words on the screen? I'm just using the highlighter now. Yes. Uh, can you read the first one? Where? Were. Where. So where has an H in it. Yes. This one's pronounced were. The last thing's to go were the computer, da-da-da. Um, okay. The next one? Recipe. 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 Yeah, which is like um, a list of ingredients to make a certain kind of food. That's a recipe. Okay, recipe. Uh, and the last one? Swapped. 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 Good. It means like traded or exchanged. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Um, okay, Ali, how about 16? Oh, here's this word again. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. <laughs> uh, the documentary shows 
Carl re realizing he is addicted to his iPhone, smashing it with a brand new French made Tefal saucepan <laughs> while while his girlfriend shrieks, are you crazy? Those are new pants. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, good. Almost perfect. Documentary. Just be careful about the ending still. Documentary. Yeah, documentary. And still your R consonant clusters. We're still having rolled R's like brand. You're saying brand. And like French, you're doing French. So, French. Yeah, that was much better. And brand? Brand. Good. Perfect. Now you now remember to do that when you're reading. <laughs> and it'll be perfect. Okay. Like um, confusing. Yeah, yeah I know. Okay. Uh, how about the last one? Which? Uh, Shriek. Where? Shrieks. Oh, shrieks. Yeah, and it's another word for screams. Um, a shriek is like a very high pitched scream. Like, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> really high. Those are new pants. I think it's funny that she's worried about her pan when he's smashing an iPhone, but <laughs> um, she doesn't care about the phone. Okay, uh, great. Ali, Anastasia, number 17. Okay. Uh, Carl tells viewers his aim is to save the French economy. After all, I like uh, Mission Impossible. He admits the experiment was part serious and part jest. At one point, he consults a French language expert to check if he should be using cool and other anglicisms. He was advised to swap uh, it for the nearest French equivalent, cholette. Or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm not expert in French. That's okay. <laughs> um, okay, how about this one? Swap. Swap. It's an ah uh sound. Swap. Okay, swap. swap. And just your V came out like a bit of a W in this word. Okay, advised. Perfect. Besides that, your, pr your pronunciation was like spot on for the whole thing. It was really good. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank and you. you had some tricky words too, so it's very, very impressive. Like anglicisms, you said it perfectly. <laughs> I was like, wow, <laughs> nice. Um, so great job. Uh, no. Does everyone know what jest means? No. Part serious and part jest. Can you guess maybe what it means? Uh, like funny. Yeah, like part, mm -hmm. part joke. Right? Like, joke. Like, like a jester. A jester is like the joker in a king's court. This um, is pronounced the same as like gesture? Yeah, it's pronounced the same way. Okay. Um, not exactly the same. Jester. Jester, gesture. gesture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but very close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's the same as like a joker. Or when you're playing cards, you know how there's the joker in the deck? It's like a, a jester is the same, same thing. Yeah. Um, okay, great. Uh, okay, how about number 18, Elena? Yes. On discovering France makes no refrigerators, uh, apart from wine coolers and um, televisions, but it's big uh, in airplane seats and wine mills, he, sa he says. And says, great, nothing that will fit into my apartment. Good. Okay. Windmills? Wind windmills. Oh, windmills. Windmills, yeah. Um, and when you pronounce it quickly, uh, the D actually almost disappears. Windmills. Windmills. Mm -hmm. Good. And this one? Says? Says. Ah, says. Good. Yeah. And this one, you just seemed unsure. Size. 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 Size is like, right? Oh. Um, and here's a note for you guys. Aeroplane, that's the British spelling. In England, they call it an aeroplane. Um, in American English, it's airplane like this. A-I-R. Um, mm. But this is written in Britain. <laughs> written in Britain. Um mm. So, yeah. Oh, dear. 
Okay, very good. Uh, oh, this is a long article. <laughs> They're not usually this long. Um, okay, uh, Nisa, do you want to read number 19? Okay. Okay. At the end of the ex ex experiment, oh, sorry, I forgot about it. <laughs> Charles <laughs> takes out a van long <laughs> to refurnish his home and cloud himself. A special auditor declares him 96.9% uh, uh, met in French and Montbourg visits to present him with medal. medal. Okay, let's do experiment again. Ready? Experiment. <laughs> experiment. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. Okay. Still wrong? <laughs> No, 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 that was much better. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Yay, huh? okay. Clothe. Okay, that was fine. Clothe. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And next one? Uh, and au auditor? Auditor. Auditor. Yeah, something to remember the about... It sounds like the... Yeah, so when you see the T in between two vowels, mm -hmm. it usually sounds like a D. See how there's an I yeah. before and an O after? Usually, not always, but most of the time, if there's vowels on either side, then the T sounds like a D. Auditor. Auditor. Okay. Uh, Auditor. Okay. Good. And, yeah, that's it. Very good. Oh, oh one other thing. You're pronouncing France... Mm -hmm. Like French, uh -huh. but okay. France is the country. French, yeah, the language. So just be careful about and the people, <laughs> but how you're pronouncing. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, the end there. It should be France for the country. It's like an S at the end. France. Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, uh, with my accent, <laughs> although my French friends. Yeah, are it's okay. <laughs> it's pronounced France. <laughs> Friend. friend. Yeah. It's really funny when you're there and you tell them, oh, I'm in Paris, France, and they're like, oh, God, <laughs> don't say it like that, <laughs> because our accent, it's supposed to be like, well, <laughs> it sounds much nicer in French, but, um, yeah. Okay, uh, one more. <laughs> Ken, can you read number 20? Okay. Uh, uh, cars, uh, conclusion. It's not entirely possible or even desirable uh, to live 100% made in France, particularly in terms of new technology, but that wasn't the point. Good. Just two words. Mm -hmm. Do you see them? Hmm? Uh. Okay. Uh, conclusion. Good. It's just your out. Just be careful with cl conclusion. No. Conclusion. Con conclusion. Oh, that was perfect. Very good. I know that the L is tricky because sometimes it's still coming out like an R. Um, but that was like perfect. Can you do it again? Conclusion. Conclusion. Yay. Okay. Very good. Um, how about the next one? Entirely. Good. Entire. Entirely. Think of it like. Tire is actually, sounds like T-I-E-R, tire, entirely. Entirely. Yeah, that was perfect. Very good. Um, okay, so we don't have time. <laughs> this is actually quite a long article. Did everyone get to read twice? I think so, right? Okay. No. Yeah. Um, you might want to finish it on your own. I think it's interesting. It's an interesting experiment. What do you guys think? What would it be like if you tried to live, like, 100% in your country? Uh, Don't comment. Almost, almost <laughs> impossible not, not yeah, in this globalized world. 100% made in Kazakhstan. I will be naked. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> what is know, made in Kazakhstan? To be. Is there uh, anything... Just maybe food. Yeah. But all, all the stuff made in China. I guess we need to move to China. We will have such a condition. 
like just only like you know food. Um, yeah. Maybe oil, like you know, oil, petrol. But you know, you cannot wear petrol. <laughs> so you just be sitting around like naked, eating Kazakhstan fruits and stuff. <laughs> Actually, we just have yeah, most of the Chinese. Uh, food here in winter time, but I do not eat it. So we frozen uh, fruits and vegetables, which is like um, you know, old ladies uh, grow in their gardens. Yeah, like it's organic food. So mm -hmm. um, I bought it and froze it, <laughs> that I can eat during the winter time. What about if everything was made in Turkey, Ali? Would it work? Would you survive? Yes, I think in Turkey uh, maybe uh, 30, uh, 40 percent uh, made in Turkey and the other one uh, come from uh, foreign countries. I know it's very expensive to have things imported to Turkey, right? I remember talking to my roommate. Um, I had a Turkish roommate in, in Spain um, and she used to say like, the electronics and everything to to get them sent there it was like crazy expensive and she showed me the Apple store for Turkey and it was almost double Canada I was like oh my god why yes. is it so much yes uh, some electronics very expensive yeah, yeah. I, I I think it's like everywhere you, is it yeah you didn't see their price in Kazakhstan it's Probably triple didn't. triple that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, for Canada, we just pay like the American price, basically. Our money yeah. is pretty much the same. It's like very close. So. Yeah. yeah. Not only electronics. Uh, for example, cars, auto, autos, uh, very expensive here. Yeah. It's about uh, our tax system. Mhm. Mm um. Okay, we're out of time, so. Um, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, the next class is taboo. Awesome. And like you asked, Anastasia, we have three taboos this week. Yeah. So there's today, tomorrow, and then I think like Friday maybe, all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Cool. So I'll see you guys uh -huh. there maybe. <laughs> thanks okay. for coming. Thank, Thank you very much. You. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.